Hey guys, Native Instruments just released two new Play Series instruments. They are 40's very own drums and 40's very own keys. In this video, we're going to focus on the keys. And the Play Series is all about playability, about very simple user interface. But under the hood, there's a lot of things that you can do. Now, 40 is, of course, no Shabib. He's a songwriter, producer, um, record executive known for his work with Drake and many others. So let's dive into it. I'm going to show you how to use the user interface, how to dive into sounds and maybe shape your own sound here. And of course, uh, we'll do a lot of demos. Let's get started. Right, so the user interface is basically two layers and we are blending between them just like uh, all the other members of the play series. So we have the A and we have the B and this is the main view but we can also go into sound. This is where you can actually shape the sound, transpose it, you have modulation, LFOs, we, uh, we have envelopes and things like that. We're going to see that in a moment. Then we also have effects and here we have a chain of effects which we can uh, actually drag, drop, change the order, uh, select different effects and also we have EQ for the A layer and a different EQ for the B layer and if we we'll go into the next tab here we have a sequencer and not all the presets will have the sequencer but you can enable it. You can take whatever preset and just have a sequencer and the sequencer goes for pitch velocity but also for the different macros and I'm going to show you that and then we have macros so on the bottom here we have different knobs here some of them will have names that make sense some of them maybe not so for example what is 40 so if we we'll go into 40 here you will you will see that uh, that knob is actually affecting a lot of things all together and if we we'll go into the delay you'll see something more uh, simple we'll have the replica delay uh, wet level and uh, delay uh, feedback things like that so also I'm going to show you how that works so let's go back to the main view and just close that one and again we have the A and the B layers if you click this title you'll get the browser and we have a lot of sounds to choose and you can flick through them and just select something for layer A and then go for layer B, select something else. And let's try some other presets. Right, and we can add distortion and chorus. Right, and we can go back to the main view here and here we can actually try something else. Let's go to our uh, sequencer and we'll turn it on. So if I'll just play something, it will keep on playing. Right, but we can change a few things. First of all, we can uh, add a swing if we like. We have the first step here, but we also have the rate. Right, we have the root key and we have scale. So I can I can just click this drop down here and select minor scale. And now we'll have the pitch in uh, relation to that scale. So that's pretty cool. So we have the root and then I can go with, uh, let's go with fifth. And another one will go with one octave. And what we can also do, just limit the number of steps. Right, and we have velocity. And we can change the direction. Right, 
We also have gate. Right, and what else we can do? So I can go into sound and here we have a lot of tools to shape and do things our way. So first of all, we have the transpose and tuning, we have panning, we have volume, but we also have uh, this uh, area here. We have uh, bit reduction, we, we, we have sa sample rate reduction, we have the bit crusher, we can add noise, color, and we also have a filter. Right, so let's try some more presets. So other things that we can do, we can take LFO, low frequency oscillator, and just change things on the fly. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to select the LFO here on the right, and now you will see that we have different uh, sliders uh, beside some of the controls. So I can use that one, for example, on uh, the tuning, just a bit. Right, and that's uh, different settings for layer A and B. So right now I'm working on layer A, and if I want something else for layer B, I can select again uh, LFO1, and just change, for example, the tuning down here. So that's the kind of things that you can do. Let's try another preset, just for fun. Right, and what I can do is I can have, for example, the mod envelope or the amp envelope to affect anything, but we also have velocity after touch and mod wheel. So I can select the mod wheel here and let's have this one affect the filter cutoff. And I can start just somewhere here. So that's the idea. So if you want to learn more, let me know in the comments because we can go down to the small details and learn more about how to shape the sound with these modulations. But I think you get the idea. Next, we also have the uh, idea behind the macros. So right now you can see that we have those macros here and they have little dots next to them. So these dots uh, have color, I mean, they're color coded. So I can use any of them just for the sake of the demonstration here. I'm going to click this one. It's going to flicker. And now if I'm going to just select, for example, the uh, crush here, you'll see that we can assign that macro to the crush. And we also have the uh, just the limits, the maximum and the mi minimum amounts for that. And I'm going to just move it and you'll see that we are affecting that particular parameter, that particular control. So now let's try some more sounds. And if you're using 
complete control which is free you can definitely go and just filter by type so we have uh, bases for example and we can select the first one here Right, and we can try something else. Let's go with the uh, synth lead. And if we want to add reverb, for example, I can go into the effects here and we can just uh, have something right here. Let's uh, change this plate and see if we can add some reverb. It, we already have that. and we can add something else right uh, around here so we have a lot of things to uh, to do well, i mean we can use the replica delay right and we have all the controls here so that's pretty cool Let's try something else. And of course you can change the blend so right now we're more into uh, layer B I can go more into layer A let's try another one right very very dry again we can play with those macros We can go and change something for example we can replace the filter with something different let's see what we've got so uh, yeah lots of things like plate reverb <laughs> right so that's the distortion lead we have space Pretty nice. Echo lead. All right, so that was for his very own keys. Really hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, like the video, and join the Discord server that I have. The plugin academy where we can chat about virtual instruments and plugins and uh, if you need any help with anything that's the place because we have a community of very supportive people including myself 
and that's uh, pretty much it so if you want to see the review or the walkthrough for the for his very own drums check my channel because the video is already there and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks bye bye